Now, as we look at this next part here, as we start to get in the formative side here with our inverses, tables should be really easy for us, okay? We're just switching, switch X and Y, okay? So all my X's then just boom, negative one, zero, one, zero. My Y is negative two, zero, two, four, okay? Now, this is actually the graph that we have as well. So if these were different, we could just list all of these points. But with this, I can actually just graph these. I have negative one, negative two. I have zero, zero, I'll switch colors. So this is my inverse. Boom, boom, one, two, zero, four. We actually could do this one as well. It would be down here. And my graph is going to look like this, okay? Now, as I ask, is this a function or is the inverse not a function, okay? This goes back to it does not pass vertical line test. And the vertical line test says if I draw a vertical line anywhere here, I can't hit more than one point. Right here, I've already hit one, two, three, and who knows how many else. So this is not going to be a function. It does not pass the vertical line test, okay? The second part is a little bit tricky with this one, okay? It's saying, how could we make this? Well, we're just gonna take a snapshot, okay? We'll, we'll say just snapshot where it does pass. So if I go from like here, to like here, okay, that's going to uh, fulfill my graph, okay? So I would say anywhere between uh, when negative uh, two less than or equal to x less than or equal to two would be like the snapshot both from here to here and then the inverse. Um, as well okay would make it so that it passes and this i'm kind of looking for the horizontal line test on original function okay and then the last one here with inverses, again, we're doing opposite and backwards. So when I look at this one, it says the function first divides by three, then square root. So I'm going opposite, backwards. So I'm just gonna write out what that is. So instead of square root, I'm going to square. And then instead of divide, I'm going to multiply three. So when I look at that in my inverse function, or g inverse of x, first I'm going to square x, and then I'm going to multiply by three. And that's my answer. As I look at letter b, here we're gonna switch our x and y and solve for y. So here I have y plus two cubed minus one. Just testing our algebra skills. We're going to add one to both sides, gives me x plus one y plus 2 cubed. I then I'm going to take the cubed root. I'm trying to get y by itself. So I have the cubed root of x plus 1 equals y plus 2. And lastly, I'm going to subtract 2. I'm going to write that here as y is equal to the cubed root of x plus 1 and the minus 2 on the outside. And you could have done that how we did letter A as well. So that has to deal with the inverses. Lastly, we're going to look at our log and exponential functions. Okay, So as I look here, first one, exponent of 5, that gets me 625. Well, I go 5, then 25, then 125, then 625. So 5 to the 4th gets me 625, or x equals 4. The second one's a little bit harder. You're gonna have to do some calculator experimenting. Now, we know it should be, because this was 
one, this was two, this was three. We know we're going to be between two and three, right? We know we're actually going to be fairly close to three. So we're going to just do some guess and check, but we can do pretty good educated guess and check. And we're going to get X is about 2.86. So if I take five to the 2.86, I get about uh, 100. And then as we start to conclude here with our logs, I'm going to write them in exponential form. So this is saying 2 to the x is equal to 64. Again, you could do some guess and check or run through it. x is going to equal 6. When I do this one, we have 10 to the x is equal to 10 to the 6. And so x is going to equal 6. A little bit different with these last ones. I get 5 to the 4th is equal to x. This one I can actually just type in my calculator. x is 625. And the last one here, 5 to the negative 1st is equal to x. And x is going to equal 1 fifth or 0 0.2. Either one of those is fine. Okay. Make sure you look back at your notes for these uh, in those forms that we looked at. And the last one is just a transformations problem. Okay, it says here we're in log 10 of x, and we're saying what does this do? What does this do? What does this do? So all we're going to say here is it is stretched by 2, shifted left, left, 4, and shifted down. Five. We've been doing these transformations really for quite some time now. So hopefully this helps out. If you have questions, I'm available either through email or I have office hours from 9 to 11. If you have questions, you can stop in. Otherwise, good luck and hopefully we'll see you on Friday ready to go for